<laughs> yeah, I'm totally ready. Uh. Hi, I'm Trisha J. Wildrich, and I am a novel friend. A novel friend is the business that I started some time ago to encompass my editing, my writing, being an author, and everything I love about words because words are a bridge between people for communications, a way to build relationships, and as corny as it sounds, to make the world a better place. So happy October, everybody. This is my favorite month. I love Halloween. I love horror. I love spooky stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I can swear yet on <laughs> YouTube. Happy October. I love Halloween. I love spooky stuff. And most of my stuff tends to fall into the spooky, creepy sort of realm. So the poem that I want to start off with today is Mary Shelley's Baby. And it's actually out as of October 1st in Nothing Sacred Volume 4 of Jack of No Trades. Here's the cover. Take a look. I'm super excited about this poem. I wrote it as part of a larger piece years and years ago that was different views of women in horror. And I have other iterations of it. But this particular piece of it stood well alone. Um, Mary Shelley, as most people know, wrote the novel Frankenstein, A Modern Prometheus, and she's considered very much the mother of science fiction fantasy horror. Um, there were women who were writing before Mary Shelley, but she's one of the best known, and she specifically sticks out for both science fiction and horror because, you know, it's what can we screw up massively by playing with science, and let's play God with science. So that's why I have a special place in my heart for Mary Shelley and Frankenstein. And of course, if you've read the book, the human is way worse than the so-called monster. Mary Shelley's Baby A dream was gifted. A malformed monster child pulled back the curtain Watery, yellow-white eyes stared, looking for love in his father's terror-filled eyes, and found none. So she took the abomination to her breast, and let it suckle milk and blood, and made an album of its life. Electric mortal mystery and anatomy lessons from corpses made short work of inimmaculate conception. Psychology and analysis were the creature's bedtime tales. Though her water broke and carved many rivers, too many navigators forgot the sea that birthed their roads. So she sits in the dark, still rocking her monster. So that was Mary Shelley's baby. I hope you enjoyed it. I loved writing and sharing it with you. If you'd like, you can actually buy your own copy of it with a lot of other great fiction and poetry in Nothing Sacred, Volume 4 from Jack of No Trades. Link is below. Uh, here's the pretty cover again. And if you enjoyed hearing this, if you like what I'm doing, please feel free to like, to share, to leave a comment, maybe subscribe. And for all of October, happy Halloween! This is what happens when you don't use finishing powder. I am like super shiny in this. Trish on no sleep. And now we've gone from novel friend to makeup with Trish attempting. Morrison's went to work. Hey, me. Hi, Jack. Oh, and this is the magic of finishing powder.